Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Thoughts for the Day. In Philippians chapter 2, Paul is encouraging Christians to have the mindset of Christ. And Christ's mindset was one of humble, sacrificial service for the salvation of others. This is exemplified by what we read of Jesus in verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. At the cross, Jesus was full of humility. Although divine, he gave his life for the sake of others. At the cross, Jesus was fully obedient. He knew it was the Father's will for him to die, because that was an essential part of God's salvation plans. Paul could simply have ended the verse obedient to death. But he adds, even death on a cross. We so easily forget the true horror of death by crucifixion. For the Romans, death on a cross was normally reserved as a punishment for a criminal, for the lowest order of society. But here is God himself hanging on a cross with all the humiliation and shame that comes with it. Even more significant, for the Jews' death on a cross, that implied being under the curse of God. Deuteronomy 21-23 declares anyone who is hung on a pole is under God's curse. So at the cross, Jesus took the curse of God on sin. Jesus bore the penalty for our sin, for our shame. At the cross, Jesus was separated from the loving presence of God. And instead took on all of God's righteous anger at sin. Jesus was fully man and therefore able to stand in our place as a perfect human being. Jesus was also fully God and therefore as the one who had been sinned against. He was able to carry his own pure and just judgment for our sin. So Jesus' death was not a meaningless act of love which achieved nothing. Jesus' death achieved everything. His death was purposeful. Through his death on a cross, our sin, God's wrath, are dealt with. And we're forgiven and we're free to enjoy relationship with God, free one day to become citizens in the kingdom of heaven. Remember, we're called to have the mindset of Christ Jesus. So the ultimate goal of our selfless sacrificial service is for the eternal salvation of God's people. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us again to marvel at Jesus' loving sacrifice for our salvation at the cross. Help us to show sacrificial service for the eternal well-being of others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.